name's Budimogo. I'm working here in Karatina University. I'm one of the lecturers here teaching agriculture and aquatic sciences. Here we have a project uh, with Farm Africa collaborating with uh, Karatina University with it in reference to checking the strains of different uh, tilapia and also with the reference to different feeds. The essence here is to check uh, the strains of different tilapia in relation to their performance and also checking the issues to do with the fish feeds. So we'll be comparing different strains. Each and every hopper, in every pond we have 16 hoppers and each hopper has its own treatment with respect to uh, tilapia strain and also the fish feeds that we are going to be giving our fish. So by the end of the growth phase, which is taking six months, we will be able to determine which strain of Nile tilapia is growing more faster than the other one with respect to which fish feed type. So we will be able to analyze our farmers based on the performance of fish in terms of the growth and when you are talking about, about growth, we are checking the growth parameters. One is the uh, specific growth the rate. We are also checking the weight gain. We are also checking the final weights. We are also checking the food conversion ratios with respect to different types of feeds that we are going to be using. And at the end of it all, we will be able to analyze farmers at a higher altitude environment, like here where we are in Karatina University, we'll be able to tell our farmers, you use this strain from a given source, using this type of a given feed, we'll be able to enhance growth for your fish in a given area that a farmer is uh, growing fish, and especially in this uh, colder environment. That is the major focus that we have here uh, with Farm Africa. With us, we have three students who are participating with respect to the data collection. We have uh, uh, Bwana Amuga, who is Bernard Amuga. We have uh, Daniel Munene, and also we have Abigail. Those are the students that are going to assist us, and our, they are our Dandias. They are going to assist us in terms of data collection, measuring the growth rates, measuring the data for the weights, measuring the lengths, and also the collection of water quality parameters, as well each and every day's management practices that entails feeding of the fish, predator control, and also water quality management issues. So those are the aspects there that we are going to uh, check with the reference to uh, the work which is ahead. Just right now, we have just received fish from uh, Jabo Fish Farm, and already we have already stocked in one of the hoppers. After two days, we are going now to distribute those fingerlings into their respective uh, happenings with respect to the fish fins they have brought to us. And tomorrow, we will be having another team bringing the fish from Jasa. We have also fish that are coming from a uh, jewelled fish farm. So we have three sources. We have the Jabo fish farm, we have the jewelled fish farm, and we have the Jasa fish farm. Jasa will bring their feeds. Jumbo has brought their fins and the jewelet will bring their fins. All the, uh, the, the things that we are going to test based on the performance of the fish. At the end of the project, we'll do what we call cost-benefit analysis. We'd like to know which of each and every component that we'll be measuring has given us both better returns, has used what amount of food in terms of uh, cash flows, of the money that has been already been in kind within each and every specific project. So that is the major focus and at the end of it all our plan is to have a workshop with our stakeholders both within this region to come and witness the results that we have gotten with respect to our performance of the fish here so that we can disseminate the information to our local uh, fish farmers. That is the ultimate objective with this project. Thank you very much.